England's first colonist to America landed in North Carolina in 1585. Nearly 400 years have intervened. Hey, hey, stop scrolling. Yes, I'm talking to you. Stop scrolling. This is important. I need you to listen to me and I don't have much time. This is going to sound crazy, but this is from the future. No, 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 don't scroll. I'm serious. Look, we're back in the office and we can't find anything. Like the office didn't get robbed or anything, but everyone was working from home and the digital files are a mess. We can't find anything. So I need you to listen to me really closely so maybe this doesn't have to happen at all. Okay, so I know we were all doing our work in Office 365 and that should have been enough, but it turns out we didn't understand where things were being stored as well as we thought. So there's one drive and that's personal cloud storage like Google Drive. You can even sync files to your local machine if you use the app and it's great for doing work and sharing documents if you can't remote into your work machine. But it turns out <laughs> that those files are stored only to your account and after a lag for a manager to review the documents in the account, the account and the files can be deleted after someone separates. We had three retirements during all of this and we have no idea where the files are. So please do not store the main copy of records in OneDrive. There's also SharePoint, which is an intranet system, and that avoids the separation problem, but those files still need to be actively managed. Please make sure you're versioning if files are updated and for everyone's sanity, please use responsible file naming conventions. If I have to sift through one more folder of draft one, two, three, I'm just going to... <clears throat> okay. Anyway, I need to go. There's so much to find and we're on deadline. Please, please take this advice. And also visit the State Archives website and read their documentation on using OneDrive and SharePoint. Oh, um... One last thing, team chats are saved in SharePoint, so uh, keep it professional. All right, best of luck.